community connected with nature, a collaboration to provide outdoor education experiences for Lansing's youth. And speaking on getting outdoors during Mid-Michigan Matters today is Tom with Hunter Park Garden House and Grant with Get Again. All right, so Tom, describe the collaboration between the two groups here and how it's helping children with that Nature Everywhere program. Yeah, so the Nature Everywhere program is a collaboration between uh, Kaboom, the National League of Cities, um, and the Children in Nature Network. And they're helping us out with um, startup funding and um, some support, uh, uh, two years of support um, to help Grant of Gitagon and Hunter Park Garden House put on a really great um, youth education series. Um, and yeah, why have this series for the children? Yeah, so I mean, we think it's really important to get kids out in nature. Um, you know, we have this really cool informal relationship with the kids in our neighborhood. So. Um, they help us out with the farm tasks of the day and we give them popsicles. And I promise you <laughs> that, that it's a, a reciprocal relationship because they've really had you know, an, an increase in interest in the farm. And it's been really great to see them develop ownership of the space. Um, you know, they, they're really starting to feel like they belong and make it their own. That's great. And with that education grant, working with Get Again, and getting those children the hands-on experience and being outdoors, how is that connecting them with plants, connecting them with other people, instead of just stuck inside on their iPad? I think a great example of that is where we first started collaborating. Uh, we installed signage with Anishinaabe Moan, or the Anishinaabe language, an indigenous language of this area. Uh, and that was a really big opportunity for people to start getting engaged with local culture and thinking about how it could relate to other people. Uh, that's been the most exciting part of this collaboration for us is seeing the ways that integrating different kinds of plant science and knowledge has helped youth connect with each other. And so that's exactly it right there, learning about mm -hmm. the science? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And holding into and sharing culture and tradition in your family too at the same time, knowing that science is just ways that we explore the world, but we also explore them other ways too. You're expanding mm -hmm. that knowledge. And so what is the mission with the field trip? What is going on with that program? Yeah, so we're really excited to partner with um, Lansing Public Schools, um, Get a Gun, and uh, Representative Emily Devendorf's office to um, you know, get kids down at the farm. Um, we, we've, been, we've been farming this space for 15 years, um, and we do a lot of things. Um, you know, we have a, have a uh, educational series, a workshop series that runs kind of through the winter, um, and we really want to take this to kids. So um, we really want to have kids, uh, you know, utilize this space and kind of lead the way and make it their own. That's wonderful and a good place to go real quick. We have a website at the bottom of your screen here, gitagon.org, G-I-I-T-I-G-A-N. Grant, Tom, thank you so much for joining me in Michigan Matters today. Thank you. Thank of you so course. Much. We're going to send it over to First Alert Meteorologist Colton Sikoraki.